What dark secrets are we too chicken to reveal? Let's talk about that! One, two, three, four! Good mythical morning. Welcome to actor, writer, producer, you know him from Family Guy and Robot Chicken and more, it's Seth Green. Give us one of these. Yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. Thank you. Welcome Thanks for being show. here, man. <laughs> the legend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. Tell a story <laughs> of my history. <laughs> All right. So uh, we want you to be telling the stories. How open are you to revealing provocative truths about yourself for the entire browsing internet to hear? Here's the hard part, uh, the reality of being on camera since I was seven years old is yeah. there's yeah. not a lot of mysteries unrevealed. Oh, really? <laughs> challenge you think accepted. You've shared it all? It's not that I've shared it all. It's just that anything that anybody was actually interested in uh, got asked and discovered, and I don't care. All right, stay tuned for the uninteresting stuff. <laughs> it's time for It's the <laughs> Ultimate Game of Chicken, so don't be a ween. If we cry, we'll look foolish in front of our new friend, Seth Green. So, as fans of Robot Chicken, we have invented our own game of chicken yes. today. Uh, we're going to be facing off to see. Who's willing to answer embarrassing or compromising questions? And those who chicken out have to eat nasty chicken dishes. Yes. One of which is already hidden under this cloche. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is just like pieces of wood covered, <laughs> covered in chicken sauce. Yeah, well, could, we're gonna find it out. It could be, yes. They, they probably went all out. Yeah. Okay, so Stevie's gonna ask us the provocative question. We got 10 seconds to decide if we wanna answer it. And this is how we decide? Yeah, by buzzing in. <laughs> Now, if time runs out before you buzz in, you gotta eat that nasty chicken dish, and if two people buzz in and say that they wanna confess something, the third person is forced to eat the dish, okay? All right. Okay. Whoever answers the most questions will be named Confession Brian. God, I want it, I want it. Yeah. All right, Stevie. I think I What's want that it. first question? Okay, guys, your 10 seconds is gonna start right after I finish this first question. All right. Over the course of your careers, what professional project is the one you are most embarrassed to have been a part of? Oh, bo uh. <laughs> You don't have to answer. <laughs> but now I have to eat. Yes, you do. Yes, is it that do. I chickened out or that I'm not embarrassed of anything I've worked Whoa. on? I'm gonna say, and listen, I've dealt with this. I've talked about it in therapy. I've talked about it on this show. Um, it is a 2007 show on the CW called Online Nation. Remember that? You were there. Yeah, your shirts were dumb. <laughs> hey, I didn't make the decisions, man. Yeah, you know about it, Seth? <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know about the blockbuster amazing. hit. What happened? It was Canceled amazing. after four episodes. It was a television show. Online Nation. We CW. Hosted. Wow. Your fa your the best internet videos out there. I mean, congratulations by on, us. on getting a show. Yes, yeah. I mean, yeah, that in right. itself is an accomplishment. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you know, I love uh, new technology, and um, there was a point where. Um, video games were foraying into a kind of choose your own adventure format. Okay. Yeah. And uh, one of the leading uh, products was um, a, a make your own music video uh, and each of the prompts. So we had to film like the, wow, that was a great video. Try and push the button on the right. Oh. Um, and uh, what nobody, what I've, what I've left out of this is that the, um, the signature pop superstar that governed the entire thing was Marky Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> oh, nice. And so I was one of the four, um, I, think our, I think we were like nerdy teen one through four. And I was, <laughs> I was number two and I was like, I know all about paints and brushes. And it's... <laughs> <laughs> Paints and brushes? Well, because it's supposed to be like an artistically themed thing. And I, okay. I was the one, this yeah. is the best thing. When I was like uh, 15 through 19, I let my hair grow really long because I figured I'm never going to play any of these handsome leading men guys. So instead I'll play like the weird guy. That's his buddy who's like, hey man, maybe you should drink this. Right? Oh. <laughs> I figured I'm, I'm like, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna corner guy. the market on the guy who's like, nah, forget about that girl. You should make a bet that you're gonna get that girl. Like, yeah, yeah. that's what I, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I just leave. I'm not getting either. So I, yeah, there's no way for me. Look, bro, 10 years from now, I'm still gonna be here. And that's okay. But you gotta make your way to MIT. <laughs> it's, 
There was, uh, okay. uh, so it's not really the most embarrassing, but then I got to make uh, the Italian job with Mark and somebody was like, hey, Mark, you know, he made that video thing. You remember that old video game? He was like, the what? Like, <laughs> yeah, he remembers. And then I had to explain, you remember like making the video? And he's like, nah, I don't remember that. I was like, I'm glad you don't. I'm glad yeah, you don't. Right, yeah, yeah. Have a wall burger. But you yeah. do, and we do. Okay, I'm, Link, uh, take a look at what you'll be chowing only, down oh God. on. Oh, God. There's this marshmallows is, uh, in that. Is that raw? Yeah. It's a chicken salad casserole surprise, which is uh, surprisingly something we invented, which is red jello with chicken. Oh. It's really salty and some ambrosia y Jeez, elements. I'm with, so with sorry. Marshmallows. Is the chicken cooked? Yes, yeah, sniff it yes. out. Yes. It does smell like chicken, is the hard part. Hmm. Oh! <laughs> wow. You wish you had to confess something? That's bad. I, I, and this was a stupid decision that I made to yeah. wait to. <laughs> right. Oh, God. I know it's it's mean to say, but I'm I'm glad it was you. Okay, here's your next question. Which of you is willing to reveal the following? Rank your lovemaking skills from one to ten and provide reasoning for that ranking. Oh, oh. <laughs> you're out, buddy. I'm not gonna eat something again. Okay, all right. <laughs> Tell us all about it is done. your lovemaking skills, Seth. Well, I don't know if you've noticed this, but I'm a short, red-headed, strange guy <laughs> with a funny name and a ton of personality. So really young, I realized if I was enthusiastic about ever making love with literally anyone, <laughs> I was probably going to have to put more effort, more study, more prep, and uh, more passion into anything if I was even gonna rank above anybody that was uh, another option for any of, for any of the girls I was this coming. Is sound at. reasoning. Yeah. So um, uh, foreplay, ton of effort. So one to ten, uh, I set the scene. I make a mood. I, I create the opportunity for success in the situation. Okay, you like build dioramas? Oh, I mean, whatever it takes. If your girl's into dioramas, you're, she's gonna get a diorama. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My my di diorama foreplay game is also strong. This is uh, what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay. Game recognized game. Recognize Sorry. game. Uh, I can't say anything. <laughs> and I, but I am saying like seven. Yeah. So seven on the foreplay. Yeah. I put a yep. hard nine on the foreplay. Oh wow! Yeah, a real hard nine. Because the, the truth is, guys, the the foreplay. If you do it right, everything else comes quickly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Right. It's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm gonna move on to the to the uh, to the results. You know, and it's not all about it's not all about pregnancy. Pregnancy. <laughs> right. <yeah. laughs> right. Right. It's uh, you yeah. know. <laughs> it's it's the everybody everybody gets what they came for. Yeah. Oh, there it is. Okay. As, assuming assuming they came for it. Right. <laughs> and yeah. I, I got a pretty good I got a pretty good record of that. <laughs> I'm gonna give myself an eight. Like yeah. for completion. My partner. I mean I I mean for me it's oh, like, for, for er, what? Er, that's the easy part. What's your me's the easy part? Five star review. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm going for a five star review. <laughs> and and a lot of yelping. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Okay, yeah. all right. Yeah. I appreciate that. A lot of yelping. Uh, do I? Am I just gonna just sip on this? And there were three of these. They were prepared. Take they nice were. They were like, what, how, "What circumstance would have allowed us oh, all to have Look at us over here. <gasps> we're the master. What is that? The master lovers. It's like musky. Ah! It's like musky clam. Oh, what it's wasabi. That? Oh, it's so thick with wasabi. Ah! Spicy chicken smoothie for you. Oh man! Can you taste just, the chicken? No, I saw it tastes wasabi. <laughs> they make me want to try that. Uh, you don't want to try it. You don't want it. No. You don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> nope. Okay, your next prompt is: read us the last text exchange you had. Ah, uh, see, ha, ah, we got <laughs> you. <laughs> You're gonna have to <laughs> eat something, Seth. Yeah. Crap. Okay. <laughs> My last text exchange was with you. <laughs> that, okay. I'm not gonna say any names because this is a group thread. Okay. Okay. Are you? Is yours a group thread? It's not my last text, though. Okay. Well, then I'll go first. I I have other people I talk okay. to. <laughs> this is just this is just friends. How long of an adventure are we looking for? 
roughly how many days. The longer, the deeper you can go. <laughs> Other friend, that's what she said. Other friend, blank has a lot of experience with this. Link says, I was thinking two full days plus a fly day on either end, like before, to keep it to four days. Ayahuasca? <laughs> Sam, you stinker. Uh, my last text message was from my wife. She sent it twice for some reason. Don't come home right away. <laughs> <laughs> Having those windows treated. <laughs> hey, did we have a trash can mishap this morning? <laughs> oh, just like she's talking to her little boy. <laughs> Now, did we have a trash can mishap this morning? Link? It's uh, okay, you can talk to me about it. I know you did it, Link. Did she mean, a, did a bear, did a bear show up? The trash can was turned over onto a bush that then it like eradicated the bush and then there were like nacho chips all over the street. So I got everything up except for all the nachos. So I think she came out to just like a street full of nachos. No, oh, the old <laughs> trash can mishap. How did you get a... A street full of not like how much nachos were you throwing away? <laughs> yeah, that's the real question. Bags there. and bags. Yeah. When, when you order extra guac, they give you more nachos. Right. Well, their theory is, God, we made millions of these chips, and then we started bagging them. And then, then what do I do? You try and eat I those just, chips. I, I, I perch them on top of the trash so the animals can throw them everywhere. <laughs> Okay. Seth, this is going to be great. I don't know looks what like it a is. Nice little dumpling. It's, it's right just, here it's for you. It's just a dumpling. Yeah. It's just Jesus a dumpling. Christ. So what's the word? Is it a bite or just a mess? <laughs> whole thing. Whole thing. Whole thing. <laughs> well, I mean, these, these a holes. <laughs> mm-hmm. Already, huh? They're 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 sour dumplings. I mean, they're it's filled like, with malic acid dumplings. <sighs> but how oh, are you? But also chicken. Oh, jeez, yeah. it's like, what does that taste like? It tastes like um. Like an atomic warhead. Yeah, exactly. That's but, what they put on those. Oh, that's not terrible. Just like I, instead of it being like blueberry, it's chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Coming to Ugh, a you're welcome. store near you. Well, I swallowed it. What is something an ex of yours was better at than your wife? Oh. Oh, 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 sad. That was a quick one. Okay, I didn't hear the last part, but I still have an answer. Gavels down. Uh, X better. It's too late, Link. Wait, You're so right. no one, so no one. Oh, it's over. Or, uh, just Seth. Okay. Just Seth. <laughs> just Seth. We're gonna eat. I'm eating uh, on this one. <laughs> Where does your ex outdo your partner? I, I did have an ex uh, that was. Um, way better at um, letting things go. Oh, 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 oh. How often do you bring this up with Never your wife? Never bring that. My wife has such a good memory that uh, that she'll occasionally say, uh, no, 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 because you, you remember that time that this thing happened. I was mm. like, oh, honey, we, we agreed to let that go. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't we? That was, that was, that was years it. ago. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, it looks- this is uh, something that Link likes. Oh, so it looks no. like a chicken leg. <laughs> it's it's cat food, isn't it? It's a Maybe. cat food chicken leg. There's no bone in this chicken leg. He likes cat food. He's got, that's well. Fridays it's, offers it's, the same kind of. <laughs> his palate's weird. No, I don't like cat food, dude. Okay. Well. I like dog food. <laughs> <laughs> well, here. so what is it? It's cat food. Uh, <laughs> oh no! What did you do? At least it's fried. <laughs> oh, that. Yeah. Man. Yeah. I should have said something about one of my exes. <laughs> okay, guys, this is the last round. <sighs> it all comes down to this. Seth is in the lead. And your final question is, who is the rudest celebrity you've ever met? And tell us what was so bad about them. Oh, gosh. I don't know. Oh man. Oh god. Five seconds. Come up with something. Yeah. Okay. So I'm stuck eating this thing. You're uh, stuck eating uh, it. Uh, it. Honestly, it was more of like, what's the rudest celebrity I've met? I, I, you, this was an easy answer for you. Yeah. What, what, you what knew you immediately. Uh, I think you were there for this. Uh, 
1998, maybe 97. Oh, come on. Um, the Charlotte, we were in a hotel in Charlotte and we got on the elevator with Ric Flair. <laughs> Remember this? I thought it was Greg the Hammer Valentine. Uh, no, the, the, no, the WWF at the time was there. We got on the elevator with both of them. Uh, separate times. Oh yeah, and he was a jerk. Ric Flair was a complete a hole to us. Man. Weird. I, and I think <laughs> he you, seems like the nicest. I guy. think you asked him to do <laughs> right. Every time I'm, I've met Flair, I'm like, hey, Ric Flair. He's like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> right. So yeah. Rick, yeah. yeah. So oh, Rick you did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ric Flair, you still exactly. have an open exactly. invitation to the show anytime you want to come on. But you were, you were not nice to us in Charlotte in the late nineties. Seth, Seth, can you um, outdo that? Yeah, when I was uh, <laughs> when I was nine years old, uh, I did a, a spot on Saturday Night Live uh, when uh, Mary Gross was one of the the um, uh, on the scene anchor people for the news, and she did a whole thing about what kids think about the Christmas holiday. And I was a nine year old kid, and the whole gag was like, these kids are not talking about the magic or the joy of it. They're like the commercialism, the consumerism. It's okay, a little, yeah. it's a little exhausting. So when I came to do that bit. I'm hanging out in the green room, nine years old, and I've never really actually told the story, but uh, <laughs> sitting on uh, uh, the arm of a sofa, there's nobody there, there's a TV on, and I'm like, hey, can I change this channel? Because I don't want to watch this show. And it turned out to be Eddie Murphy was like, yeah, but you got to change the channel. So I climb up on all these shelves and I change the channel. He thought that was really funny. And then I come and sit down, we're watching Chips or whatever. And so um, Bill Murray was hosting the show. And uh, Bill Murray, as everybody knows, is great with kids. So he, uh, <laughs> oh. he saw me sitting on the arm of this chair and made a big fuss about me being in his seat. And I was like, that is absurd. I am sitting on the arm of this couch. There are several lengths <laughs> of this sofa. Kindly F off. And he, and he was like, this is, that's my chair. And then uh, one of the other kids who was in the bit saw him and was like, hey, aren't you, uh, aren't you Bill Murray? And me not wanting to seem stupid or like I didn't know anything, I said, the Bill Murray? And then, <laughs> <laughs> and then my mom goes, nah, you know, since he's the Bill Murray, you should maybe give him his seat. And I go, this is, I've never been more indignant to be told that the arm of this, are you this much of a jerk? You're this rude to tell a nine-year-old to get out of your, what, what is this power play? He picked me up by my ankles. I know, right? Gasped from the crowd. <laughs> Held me upside down. You have to remember, when I was nine years old, I was probably less than four foot. So <laughs> he dangled me over a trash can and he was like, the trash goes in the trash can. And I was screaming, screaming. And I swung my arms, flailed wildly, full contact with his balls, full contact. He dropped me in the trash can. The trash can falls over. I was horrified. <laughs> I ran away, hid under the table in my dressing room, and like just cried, cried, and was like, oh my God, I don't want to do the show. I can't believe this happened. I've never been so embarrassed in my life. So uh, it turns out it was Eddie Murphy and Tim Kazarinski. They come back and hey, come to my room. They're like, hey, everybody knows Bill's a dick. You know, he's, he's hosting the show. He's probably really like nervous about it. You be a pro, right? The show must go on. Mm -hmm. You be a pro. You're a pro, yeah. right? And I was like, <laughs> I have a pro. <laughs> I have I'm a pro. A pro. <laughs> yes, I did. Wow. I did. I went and did it. I went and did the bit. And we've never seen each other since. But the best part is I ran into <laughs> I ran into Eddie like super randomly. And he was like, You, you climbed up the, the thing to change the channel. And I was like, Really? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Couldn't even believe it. And he was like, Congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations. You stood up to the that Bill is Murray. Great. You know what I'm saying? He, he's kind of like your wife. He doesn't let things go, I guess. Well, yeah. The thing everybody says about Eddie Murphy, he's got the best memory in the business. Never drinks, doesn't do any kind of drugs. He's still razor sharp. Point taken. Yeah. All right, Link. You get to have a spoonful of, uh, it looks like pate to me. Mm. Oh! oh <laughs> what is that? It's what? just like oh. chicken fat and other fat. Oh, it's chicken fat. fat and other fat. This is, this is fat. Uh, that was baller, though. Like, the way you took that down, that was impressive. Oh, gosh, I can only imagine what that tastes like. But you know what that means, Seth? With four points, <laughs> you do win the game today. You are officially Confession Brian. Way yeah! Hey, take hey. that, Bill Murray, take that! Whoa! <laughs>
<laughs> Big thanks to Seth for being here today. Catch Family Guy on Sunday nights on Fox, and be sure to check out Robot Chicken. All 11 seasons are available to stream on HBO Max. I, I do feel like it's important to say, I love Bill Murray's work, and I can see <laughs> it. Yeah. One of the most yeah. important cultural icons that it's we It's okay, have. listen. We'll... But when I was nine years old, he was very rude. Yeah, if he picks you up and holds you upside down, you're gonna punch him in the balls. That's that's the agreement, yeah. yeah right. And you're his answer to the same question. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that'd be funny. Exactly. Thanks for subscribing and clicking that bell. Now you say you know what time it is. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Jude. I'm Noah. And I'm Canyon. And we're here in Elgin, Texas with our chicken, Keith Richards. Say hi, Keith. And it's time to spin, spin the, the wheel, wheel of, of mythicality. Keith won't take your directions. A non-talking chicken, wow! Click the top link to watch us play Pluck Mary Grill with everybody's favorite birds in Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality's gonna land. A new season of GMM means a sweet new mug. Get the Colorful Conversations mugs now at mythical.com.